Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I just am gonna make a quick video here uh, for a P pump swap in a 24 valve motor. This is a 2001 to 24 valve motor. I uh, just mainly want to talk about the oil delivery for the fuel pump. So, uh, like Sheed Diesel and Crazy Carl's turbos, uh, they they want you to uh, run a restricted oil flow on the path on the driver side. Of the pump right here <clears throat> so I, I got the kit right here and uh, so they'll, they'll want you to either run a line from this oil port or tee this off this goes you, you need one for the vacuum pump too so you can tee it off or whatever you need to do but uh, th so they want you to run a restricted flow like this um, on the on the driver's side because well the passenger side has already restricted flow there uh, right in the pump casing and this one here just goes right into the sump of the the pump and uh, you can see the crankshaft right through this hole here but uh, the only problem with with doing it this way is um, while well, you're you're restricting the oil flow which you need to do um or else the pump will fill up too much and flood the governor housing so th that's why you need to run a restricted flow but uh it seems like the crazy carl's one is is smaller than uh the other other ones like sheet or i think there's one other one out there um so th this one, I think they got the hole so small because they, they want it to spray up in there on the right on the camshaft. And then you're relying on splash to lube everything. But uh, no, that's that's not really the right way to do it. Like, yeah, it'll lube, it'll lube the pump for a little while, but it's not factory. So factory, they have it hooked up to the... To the um, passenger side of the pump which is already restricted and it has its own oil galleries in there that run all over the uh, there's a rack system in there which the governor will move back and forth the aneroid housing everything back in there needs to be lubed and especially that rack system where it it, it racks back and forth to adjust the fuel delivery to the delivery valves so here I'll just put a flashlight on here. This is this is what we did. So uh, I got I did run it into the uh, driver side of the or passenger side. Sorry, the factory side of the pump is the best delivery method for lubrication for these pumps. If you want it to last a million miles, like like these pumps are you know made for, then you you need to run your oil on on the passenger side. Okay, because the lubrication is completely different. So, so I, I ran the line down here with a 90, back to this oil port here. Um, so yeah, you're gonna wanna go to like a hydraulic shop and, you know, then like a, a good way to get your length right is to uh, use a piece of solder and uh, just bend it around and take that to the guy and he'll he'll get you the length so so yeah it's going into a 90 here and the same o-ring boss fitting uh in behind that and then we got a, a one of them jick uh pipe fittings or whatever they're called um so yeah so that comes up to the passenger side here i'll try to get a flash on this oh where's a flashlight So what you need to do is run a banjo bolt. There, you can see it right in there now. I'll try to get it to focus. It's not 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 this banjo bolt. This is uh, the fuel uh, return here. But the oil delivery is, is in there. So we did a banjo. Banjo is, is pretty much the only way to go because it's so tight with the 24 valve head. And you still need to, you know, shave the head down a little bit with a grinder or whatever. And 
to, to squeeze it in there. So that, that's where this line is running. Right up in here. I mean, um, yeah, that's the that's just the, the way you want to do these P pumps for oil. Um, yeah, so yeah guys, thanks for watching.